All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Makura for a raid spot, a Shaman Elemental with pretty good gear, Shadow Reflector, Book of the Dead. Ooh, watch out for that one, the R Skelly. All right, and the Warlock. This looks like a gentleman Makura. They're not using consumes. I want to go and quick inspect. He has Death Mist. Cloaking device title charm on this warlock. Underworld band. Yo, this warlock is gonna shit on him, bro. He's SL spec as well. There's no way the shaman is gonna fucking win, dude. My little man, abort, abort, abort. Alright, so we got Soulbound versus Red Pala. And do I have time to check if they're in the same guild? This guy is in Ballast. And this guy is in. Oh shit, they're going in immediately. Yeah, they're in the same guild. They're Makurang for a raid spot right now. The Warlock starts off with the Helm. R. Skelly is already doing some work here on the Warlock. Look how much damage that thing is doing. The Warlock goes in for the title charm. Immediately gets the Immolate into a full Curse of Tongues here. Spamming out the Searing Pain. He gets shocked on it. And the Elish Shaman looking for the Chain Lightning. Looking for the one shot. But he gets coiled. Oh my goodness. This might just be over already. The Warlock coming out with the Cloaking Device. He's going to cast a Shadow Bolt from Stealth. Watch out. You need to heal right now. Goes for the War Stomp there. He's going for the Element Master. Yo, this Shaman is crazy. He's going for the big one shot. And he gets sent. I think the Warlock actually just resisted. Oh my god. That was over before it even started. The Shaman has been challenging every shaman in the entire guild for a raid spot and he got sent back to Mulgore in about 10 seconds here that is a tough matchup right there it looks like he resisted his element mastery the warlock is literally at full hp he got his first ear and uh he got blasted holy shit he did not know how to play that matchup dude